Ascension Path Work Pocket Guide Universal Unity Ascension Path Work Part 1 What is Path Work and Why Commit to Knowing Thyself? In overwhelming response to new awakenings and inquiries about the self-knowing process, I have created a quick and simple Ascension Path Work Pocket Guide for your explorative journey. Ascension Path Work may seem like it is something outside of you, but all path work is the exploration of all that is within and where your infinite potential, reside. Daily path work is all about you. The expansive path work that you commit to in every day will not only allow you to create the portal to which universal wisdom and galactic wisdom can flow, but it opens the cosmic doorway for your celestial team and family to engage with greater ease. From our most ancient tablets and teachings, knowing thyself is the pathway to all that you desire to create, manifest, and experience. Knowing thyself is the key and the path work itself to master this unique earthly experience. Knowing thyself is the map, the path, the infinite road that must be traveled to move beyond what is, and up into what may be. It all begins right here, right now, and with the purity of your intent to know how truly expansive and divine you truly are. Let's begin. Knowing thyself, is an infinite pathway within, and it is a path that is unique and special to each person. For every being within creation, there is a unique and infinite pathway to self-knowing, and it holds something different to each person. Humanity is no longer satisfied and content with the lackluster obsession with material desires that spiral disconnection at all levels of our reality. We are awakening into the remembrance that we are far greater than we have ever dreamed or known ourselves to be. The reality to which we have been embedded within is becoming more obvious to be that of an illusion, and we now understand that we create and manifest every aspect of it. Humanity is now taking greater ownership and responsibility to all that we swim within, and in this act, in and of itself, will catalyze change. As a collective family, we are awakening to the level of disconnection that we have all played a part in and how this disconnection has resulted in even greater disconnection and loneliness as a human species. There will come a time for those that have designed ascension and expansion into their blueprint, that what we have existed within for eons is no longer attractive and is the cancer cell that activates the disease we see ravishing our world in every arena. This grand experiment within this universal playing field has been one of extremes, and we are now experience the upswing in humanity's desire for a more richly entangled life with spirit, and with the infinite aspects within. When one is done with the lessons that greed, disconnection, and fear can breed, all of these seemingly negative attributes are the very fuel that ignites the fire within to act and alter all within its path. This is the wave of awakening that we see occurring now all over our planet. In every corner of our world, there are people awakening to the greater spirit intelligence within, the divine goddess within, and the source aspect of unconditional love within that allows for an entirely new earthly experience to spring forth. From behind the veils of illusion, there are scores of people bursting into their own light essence as they recognize the brilliance has been stirring within. Each day more and more people are engaging in self-help or self-centered skills that assist in activating and unveiling what truly exists within, and this dear lighted one is the wave of enlightenment. To act in your highest and best in all now moments because you know you are worthy of experiencing your highest and best, is the catalyst to bring about change. Even if you have no idea what is on the other side of that veil, it is exhilarating beyond words when you can act on behalf of your spirit and soul. To act with courage and bravery in such a way that it alters all that we know to be true, and we do so because the chance to truly re-engage with life and spirit once again is the stir that aches within us all. We are all awakening to the stir of source, the stir of a loving potential, the stir of our spirit aspect that aches to be heard, touched, and felt at the deepest level for we know something amazing truly exists within. Awakening stirs such profound desires to feel the depth of self-love, entanglement with life, entanglement with source, and the spirit within, and as we do, we taste the nectar of what resides within the infinite. There is nothing that will stop those that simply must walk the path into their expansive spirit self, and the experiences are most often beyond belief. Awakening into community and belonging as we seek within to discern why we have distanced ourselves from what has always resided around and within us, we unveil our unique and brilliant offering that is our gift to bestow upon creation. 
There is something truly beautiful about the groups and families that seemingly come out of the woodwork to seek the company of like vibrations. I have held many events, meditations, and gatherings and it is the communing that spirit seeks to engage and entangle with that always amazes and delights me. The interconnection between seemingly total strangers that spawn lifelong friendships of deep and reciprocal values, or that feed the intimate desires of value and integrity that make walking this path so utterly worth it. Awakening inspires greater desire for peace, love and the sense for community will spring forth in many ways and why we will see small shifts that incorporate harmonic living take precedence over selfing behaviors from our past. We will see how communal living will become more of a common replacement for housing strategies that can benefit Gaia and humanity in many ways. Those that are moving through their ascension path work will find great peace and deeper connections with those of like vibrations and thus fulfill a more wide range of desires that awaken as they awaken. Synchronicity will bring these like souled groups together and soul families that have served one another over a span of many star systems and lifetimes will find their way to one another for a new beginning and sense of purpose with greater unison, shared soul purpose, and excitement for expansive exploration of spirit. There will no longer be the need for individual housing, and many may feel greater freedom and deeper experience value in living within larger groups that serve the purpose and needs of the many. Communal living allows for group sharing with resources, skills, tools, stories, and experiences in an open and generous manner. These are all examples of how the wave of love that blooms from our ability to go within, can inspire us all to act in a profound and peaceful way that is unlike anything we have ever known. We know, see, and feel the difference in which living with an open and loving heart can have and how this alone can affect all within our reality. Love and light is positive and integrative, and it spirals greater love and positivity, which in turn ignites the desire to act in loving communion, with all aspects of our reality. The more we act from the center of our being, in a heart-centered manner, which is spirit itself, we can see the immediate results and changes that this loving behavior inspires. As the rarefied streams of consciousness potentials are sent forth in every celestial alignment, humanity can actively take greater ownership in embracing these offerings and create group meditations, familial meditations, and gatherings, or storytelling that can magnify and amplify these divine frequencies in truly magical ways. Synchronistic unfoldings that are beyond explanation will flow forth, or complete reversal of illness or health issues will seemingly disappear and all of these experiences will be naturally unfolding as we walk in unwavering trust and knowingness of the spirit that resides spiraling within us. With such divine connection every day, we can gain access to and sense the wisdom and skills from ancient lives coming forth to serve and assist us in this lifetime role and offering. We can bring forward knowledge and skills that can remind us all how to entangle with our own divinehood and create a second chance at sacred living. The very act of gathering with spirit, allows for entanglement at deeper levels the more we desire to entangle with all aspects of our reality experience. The desire for communion is the unveiling of our oneness and wholeness and in this, we gather steam in our ability to solve many of the problems and challenges that we now face in correcting our errors of living in great disconnection and disrespect for our planet and wildlife. As we come face to face with a reality that is teetering on the brink of destruction from the centuries of sleepy disrespect and greed, we tap into the compassion that has awakened from our engagement work. Since the demarcation of December 21, 2012, we have seen a dramatic and positive change in the level of interest about the various worldly structures that require honest improvements. Our earthly ecosystems, political and policing infrastructures, GMO farming and production, and even the financial systems will all face their own version of collapse and revamping because of the lack of integrity and selfing systems that simply cannot win over the pure love and compassion that we are now seeing change the face of our planet in every way. Our systems and infrastructure must serve and benefit the greater good, for if it doesn't then the expanding consciousness of the people will inspire and create the change that will revamp all within its path. Humanity frequency and intelligence is accelerating and there will be no corrupt system that can alter this. All that we know to be true will move through and about face alterations so that the systems that exist within our society can evolve in a more positive, community-serving, fluid and free manner to match the resonance that the people carry and emit. It simply must, 
for that is the mechanics of quantum energy and if our systems do not alter to create greater balance with the integrity, truth and honest living, then every system not in resonance with this will have to be revamped. Our reality is illusory, and all aspects within all that we experience is entangled, so as we shift and adjust what we know to be true, then so too shall all other systems. It is an attribute of quantum entanglement. As we inspire one another with our expansive thoughts, ideas and inventiveness, our societal systems will alter to match with the human frequencies we ignite, and why knowing thyself will allow you to tap into the inner workings of how energy moves and alters all within its path. There are groups and bands of humans from all age categories, and from all walks of life that are now stepping up and acting with heartfelt intent to engage, entangle, and inspire greater intimacy and meaning within all aspects of our reality experience. There are changes washing over our entire reality and many more that simply cannot be outlined in one article, just allow yourself to take notice of all the positive changes in your reality, and you will see how involved we have become in the life that unfolds. There is greater awareness now than ever before in our history and this is because we desire greater potential in this earthly experience. When you make the personal commitment to connect in a more intimate way with all life around you, you will experience the results of your intent and actions. Committing to knowing thyself, is the action part of ascension that many masters and teachers express as the key activity that alters your reality experience. So. Now that we know seeking within is the key to experiencing positive and loving change, what does seeking within look like and how can we get moving on this? Know thyself. Our most ancient of wisdom and knowledge tablets inspired this concept of knowing thyself. The intent to know is profound. As we have talked about in most of our articles and classes, the state of being that emits knowingness is the essence, and is the frequency that creates. This is a profound statement and you can gain great movement if you read this and act upon this until becomes an aspect of your very being. When you create truths that become your knowingness it becomes a frequency, an essence, and thus becomes your state of being. Daily sacred path work can unveil what your current truths are so that you are able to discern which truths are ready to be revamped and released, or which truths require greater acknowledgement, embracing, and nurturing. Without seeking within to know thyself. We are merely floating on the wave that the masses have always moved along, and it is not the self-creating path you consciously carve for a profound spiritually physical experience. We are allowing the spirit within to play a more active role in our daily experience, which can be seen as the assimilation of spirit with the physical, or what can also be experienced as greater soul merging. Remember, we are multidimensional beings of divine light and as we ascend, we will gain access to greater aspects of all that we are and merge it further into our ever-expanding state of being. This is the mechanics of our personal ascension, and as we move further into our divine self-awareness, our energy fields, our capacity to love thyself, and our innate ability to sense all aspects of our reality and it will naturally flow forth with every moment we dedicate and commit to seeking the spirit within. An Example of Ascension Path Work when I began my path over nine years ago, I had no idea about the realms of spirit and beings that I would connect with as I committed to being more of my divine authentic self. When the darkened dreams left me exhausted, fearful, and confused, I contemplated the most tragic and desperate act of separation, suicide. If it were not for my two young babies sleeping peacefully in their beds upstairs, Thoughts of ending the pain of disconnection and loneliness seemed to obsess anything that was worth living for. After a few sessions with a lovely family counselor and practicing her prescription to meditate for a few weeks, she assured me this process would help unveil the shadows that haunted me in my dreams so that I could face it for healing and release. This meditative approach, that could alter my state of being, seemed to be the safe alternative that could ensure my babies had a new chance at getting their mother back so I proceeded with no expectation of any outcome at all, I just knew I had to try. After another sleepless night, I set the intention to meditate and see if I could resolve the darkness that was haunting me. As fearful as I was to face this demon head on, I knew it was the only way my sense of self could be ignited. My teams, my spirit guides, and even the celestial sky seemed to align with a divine offering that set me up for the perfect opportunity to go within. There were no more excuses to pull me away from what stirred within. 
It was time to begin. The kids were sleeping, the house was quiet, and I sat with a gentle meditation song playing in the background. As I breathed deeply, in a way that felt comfortable, I felt the desire to breathe more deeply with each breath. It was as if I had known what to do and I was being led with every breath. I began to feel the lightness that I now know is entering into a heightened state of consciousness. It was as if the universe was perfectly aligned to cradle and assist my inner work, because it seemed as if it only took a few minutes before I slipped into a very deep state of meditation, or a heightened state of being. I began an unexplainable spiraling, spinning, in a Merkaba type of rotation in all directions and speeds. I felt as if I was levitating when I began to sense a being with me. This being seemed to be angelic because of her profound power to execute exactly what she did with the divine precision of speed, color, and tones required for me to experience exactly what I did. This experience is explained more fully in my book, but suffice it say, there are elements of that first divine experience that is still beyond all earthly words to describe in full detail, and in what actually occurred. There are some experiences that simply cannot be explained with the words that we have and it would simply not give the experience justice to the depth of beauty and love in which they flow forth. What I know to be true about what resides and exists beyond what is tangible and physical, and beyond what we are able to see, touch, and know to be real. These profound multidimensional experiences are also why I have committed my every waking moment to this path for there is a level of union, love, and belonging that just simply is not yet existing here upon but that I seem to find in these experiences. Many people that connect with their celestial roots can find that this earthly way of life is often confusing, lonely, frustrating, and even harsh in its depth of disconnection that we experience here. We can sense the resonance of our other celestial lives ruminating within our energy field, which can make this reality seem very dense and lonely, and even create the friction that attracts a challenging earthly experience. It was in this one fateful morning when the universe converged to show me what I had forgotten. I was shown the profundity of what truly resided within, and to this very day, I am deeply grateful and blessed for every experience because it took me from the darkest places of despair to living in the moment of bliss right now. Committing to unveil your sacred and divine essence. Each morning I wake up at 2.02 a.m. so that I can connect with my teams, my higher self, and the myriad of beings that are contracted with me. I am finding that as I expand and ascend, I do not necessarily have to go into a meditative state to access my teams. It is becoming more surreal and active in my everyday life as I focus with the intent to live as spirit in every moment. Where the planetary and collective conscious frequencies resonate at right now, Anyone tuning into the path of awakening can find engaging with spirit more easily than it would have been 20 years ago. We are being offered profound energetic potentials that allow all beings a clear pathway to spirit at any time. As I walk about my life and move through the everyday daily duties, I am finding that I can link in and connect with my higher self, and spirit guides and even sense when higher dimensional beings are present with me. My physical body and heightened senses are alerting me when there are beings present, and if I feel the throb or tweak at the back of my head and skull area, or behind my ear, then I know to connect in a more meditative way due to the nature of the message or information that my team desires to download. Sometimes however, especially lately, these physical symptoms are the energetic workings that my team is doing behind the scenes and I am merely feeling the residue of the shifts activated by our roles in the grander blueprint. It is quite amazing when you can attune yourself to sense support and family that are always encircling us, and how continuous their efforts are for the very best outcome for all. This level of oneness allows for deep felt compassion and love on every level, for if we all knew how truly loved, surrounded, and supported we are, then the acts of fear and separation would simply not exist. All of these lovely energetic subtleties are opening for everyone to take advantage of, for remember, Source, God, our benevolent councils and teams desire for all to be offered the path to a lighted life. All beings are loved, required, and offered the same opportunities for ascension and expansion. It is however up to us to create the desire for change, which then ignites our free will to act and open for all that exists. It is possible to have a positively loving life experience. It does require action along with the purity of your heart to ignite these changes 
and this is why path work can help you in your path for greater self-knowing and self-love, so that you can experience all that you designed within your earthly blueprint. Blessings and Light Joanna L. Ross at UniversalUnity.ca Jamie at AwakeningOurTruth.com Thank you for sharing and subscribing.